Oh no. Oh well, she's seen us now. What's he doing? Bow down. Line him up. Up and down. Oh shit. He had the same idea. Wind me up the bastard. Oh shit, yeah, you see him? I see him. Oh shit, guys. What's up, survivors? I'm Natural Born, and welcome to episode 33 of our random Gen Let's Play. Now, today is day 42, and you guys know what that means. Tonight is the sixth horde night of this world. Now, first and foremost, as always, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for all of the support on all of the videos. You guys are the real MVPs. Now, I like to show all of the footage from the Horde Nights. So for today, I think we're going to have to find something that's not too exciting. That's not going to take up too much footage time. And I think I have the perfect thing in mind. In the last episode, we finally finished the underground portion of this base. Now, I think through the day today, I'm going to start moving forges down there. All the workstations, cement mixers chem stations and all of the storage and then most importantly all of the resources so we'll get downstairs now and we'll see what we're looking at something else that we're going to have to do too is we're going to have to craft a bunch of forges now i'm not actually we'll just dip down real quick i'm not 100 percent sure how much room we actually have here Now it looks like five blocks, so maybe ten forges to start off with, I'm not too sure. Obviously we don't need to start with that many, five could do the trick quite fine, but uh, I'd like to have all of them down there and set up as soon as possible. We can also test this theory, whether or not it's going to attract screamers. Now a lot of you have told me that if they're at bedrock, doesn't matter at all. Now, what I was worried about is that because underneath this base is the same chunk that we're in at the moment, does that heat still generate up here? Now, a couple people think that it does, and that's personally what I thought too. So I'm pretty keen to test that out so we can uh, get to the bottom of this and see if it truly is beneficial to have all of your forges at bedrock. So what do we got? I think we've got six forges Correct, so we only need to make four more, so I might go ahead and do that now. We're going to need some animal hide. What else do we need for bellows? Pipes, I think. Grab some pipes out. I'm going to craft up four bellows. Now, I think we need stone and clay for the forges themselves. So we'll take some of this out. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to wait for those to craft up. Before I actually move these ones, all that stone needs to come out. Now, I'm not too keen to be cranking these forges on the day of Horde Day, but it is what it is. Like I said, we want to get all this stuff down there. That's only going to take six minutes, so it's not too bad. Yeah, this one's still cranking up heaps of stuff in there. All right. We're going to pull out some glass jars. I'm going to pull out all of the bullet casings and bullet tips. Looking pretty good on forged at the moment. We do need a bit of iron for repairs, so I might just pull all of that iron out. Then all we have left is the clay. Now this definitely will not be finished by tonight, but it's just going to have to do for now. For now we'll move this stuff up here. Might as well get all that in there too. And oh, actually, <laughs> we need that stone and clay. Craft up some more forges. Pop those in there. 
All right, so we're going to need to make a couple of Kim stations too. What are we going to need for this? Two beakers, burning barrel, three cooking pots. All right. Now, I'm not actually too sure how our beaker situation is. We've got three, so we can at least make one Kim station. Ah, oh, two cooking pots. I think you actually have to make a cooking pot in here too, don't you? If I remember correctly. Um, right, we're just going to stop this quickly. Where is it? Cooking pots. Alright, now we're just going to pull all this stuff back out. A burning barrel. I can't quite remember what you need to craft them, but I know that you can craft them. Oh, there you go. A bit of forged and a bit of wood. Get that crafting up, and that should be enough. Right, what are we missing? Short sure, iron pipes. Right, we can do that easy enough. All right, chem station on the way. And we already have a screamer. Oh, she hasn't actually seen us yet. If, oh, no, she still hasn't seen us. Let's see if we can uh, get the jump on her. Oh no! Oh well, she's seen us now. She's got Mo. <laughs> and of course, we have a beer. Why wouldn't we? Great way to start off Horde Night. Let's go. Me, you big bastard. Actually going to have to get outside after this and do some repairs to the spikes before Horde Night does begin. Come on. Go down, boy. Go. Harvest up this beer quickly. Don't want to let that, let all that good stuff go to waste. Oh, leather duster. We'll definitely take that. Somebody else asked me in the comments what was the score between me and the bears, and I'm not actually too sure now, but we've definitely killed a few of them. Of course, we've got another Screamer. Why wouldn't we? Oh, we got a Feral too. Okay. Let's hope he uh, brings us some nice loot. I thought that was two for a second. Oh, yeah, we should probably actually get rid of her. But she doesn't bring anything else in. Oh, we want the Screamer loot. Ah, this Feral's loot, sorry. And Magnum Barrel, we'll take it. Dog. So I thought I heard another screamer for a second. I'm starting to think, probably not the best idea to have these uh, forges going at the moment, eh guys? I should probably uh, go turn those off. And, um... Flip those back on after Horde Night. Oh yeah, it's six wheel for us. This base does work quite well as a wee screamer farm though. Actually, you got any food for us? Nope. But 
you i don't want to spend uh, all of the video up here during the day and then up here during the night too so unfortunately i might have to go turn those forges off we can move that though and we can move the other fort as well now i'm just going to dump this crap in here Well, we can start off by picking up these forges. So for anybody who doesn't know, just got to hit them. Get them to low durability, but you do not want to break them. Hopefully this doesn't... Here we go. One more. All right, now you want to finish it off with the wrench. This will allow you to pick the forge back up and place it down wherever you want. All right, we got the forges to move these two we've got a bit of cement mix now too which is great so we're just going to pop this in here for now oh, all right I'm a bit scared to hit this with the pickaxe i'm not too sure yeah so if we hit that with the pickaxe it probably would have broken it in one hit all right i'm not going to risk one more hit with that we're just going to pick it up oh, even the wrench does a good amount of damage to it And yeah, whenever you're picking up items like this, always make sure that they're empty. Because if they're not, you're going to lose all of the resources that are inside of the workstation. Alright, so we're going to pop downstairs. And we might put our forges on the side. Should have even made an area down here for cooking, but uh, that's all good. I'm not too worried about doing the cooking upstairs, but when you're running this many forges, yeah, you really got to be careful. All right, so we can get those other two forges in here. We have the option of putting another row of forges in if we want to. We could even have a fourth row. We could fill that up with a wood block like this, or we could even have storage up there. Gonna have to build storage for all of these compartments too. We're going to pop the cement mixers in now. Alright, and then we've got to go pick up those chem stations and place those down too. I think while I'm up the top, I might make some storage to bring back down with us. Alright, and they fit in there nice and flush. So yeah, I'll probably put wooden blocks along this part here. And then yeah, like I said, we have the option of having additional storage here or more forges. I do think that 10 forges will be enough, but yeah, you never know. We should realistically have about four of them cooking up stone or cement. We should have at least four of them cooking up iron. For, um, you know, you've got your iron, your forged iron, and your steel. And then these two on the end, one of them can be used for brass and lead or what i like to do is i like to have a forge that has every single resource inside of the forge so that way whether it's anything you want to craft because there's a lot of blocks that you can actually craft inside of the forge but then you have the option to craft those whenever you want all right craft up some more storage number 12 oh, you were low on wood so yeah i do think making a wood farm is definitely going to be primary and a primary goal in some of the upcoming episodes because 
like I said, to uh, feel something like this, you need a crap ton of wood. Now, you can use coal. Coal is better than wood, but I do want to hold on to the coal. I'd like to make gunpowder. How much 762 ammo have we got, actually? Ooh, not a lot. We're actually going to have to craft more of that, too. And, look at that. No gunpowder. Oh, guess we're turning this sucker on, too. So, yeah, we're probably going to have more screamers showing up. Alright, that's done. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to get some more storage crafting. 38 sounds like overkill, but I promise you we're going to be using all of these. Maybe not straight away, but they will definitely get used, so I'm not worried about having to craft that many of them. Put that back up there. And yeah, we're going to have to wait a while for all of that gunpowder to craft. But while we do, we'll get back down here. We'll start laying down some more storage. Alright, so we have all of the storage in now. Now something that I will do is I'll craft some wooden signs. We'll place all the signs on all of these crates. Hmm. I don't know if I should move this one down yet or not. Tell you what, why not? Might as well just get this down there. Be a good way for us to test too. Because there should be nothing up here that generates heat. I'm not too sure how much damage this thing can take, so we're just going to chip away at it with the wrench. Alright, nice and easy. And back downstairs. Now, if there's anything else that I do decide that I want to build down here, say we decide that we want more... We want a kitchen down here for cooking, or we want more storage or a bedroom. We could always open this up into a tunnel and create rooms off the side. We've got uh, plenty of different options. Even this, I could even open all of these up to three separate rooms. We could have chem stations in one. We could have our infinite water source in another. And we could have a bedroom on the end. But for now, I'm not too worried. It's all easy enough to change. It's the best thing about this game. You can just change things as you go. And yeah, look at that, guys. We can stack two chem stations in here if we decide we want to. Now, at the moment, for the purpose of symmetry, we're just going to have one on each side of the room. But we now know that that is an option too. And if we decide there's not enough storage there, we can also pop some storage up here. Alright, so cement mixers. Need to make another cement mixer. Tell you what, just keep things looking clean. Alright, perfect. Yeah, that looks a bit cleaner. So yeah, as I mentioned, if we want to, we can uh, put additional storage in here too. How's our armor looking? Yeah, somebody mentioned in the comments too that I had cloth armor. And as I said, this is scrap iron armor. It's definitely not the best, but it's not cloth. Now, we could upgrade to full iron, but I'm just not too worried at the moment. Our armor smithing isn't the highest, and I don't want to be wasting a bunch of our forged on this iron at the moment. Once we get our armor smithing up, then we'll definitely be upgrading our armor. But yeah, as I mentioned for now, it's just not much of an issue. All right, I'm just looking at our iron situation at the moment, and I'm thinking we're going to have to pull out some iron. There's just no two ways around it. I don't think that's going to be enough for repairs, because like I said, we have to do some repairs outside of the base because of uh, all of the bears we've encountered. As you can see, that one there is quite munted. And then on top of that, we're going to need iron for repairs for tonight. So I'm going to start making some minor repairs to the base while that iron cooks up and then we're going to get outside and finish off the repairs 
All right, so those repairs only took up about 300 iron. Definitely not the worst. We're going to take that out, and I think that's going to be more than enough to tie us over for the night. What we're going to do, jump up here. We're going to have a quick scout of the area. Make sure we don't have any unwanted guests rolling in. And we're looking pretty good. We're going to jump down. We're going to repair all of these spikes. So you can see all the damages here. This was from one of the zombie bears. Now between zombie bears and ferals, they peel through your spike. Now steel spikes aren't are definitely a hell of a lot better, but you guys know how it goes in the Iron Fortress. We roll them with nothing but iron. So yeah, we've definitely got to maintain the upkeep here. Just to make sure we have minimal problems tonight. We're actually missing a spike there too. We should have a scrap spike. We've only got one bear left as well. We're going to have to make sure we save that one for emergencies. But yeah, I think for now, we're looking pretty good. We're ready for horde night. I think I'm just going to um, mess around the base, organise some stuff. And I tell you what, what I will do at this animal hide. And we're going to craft ourselves up another poncho. So our one, it's not looking too good. I think we need a leather to repair that one. That's all good. There we go, 192. That one's looking a bit better. How much would it take for us to repair our armor too? That's another question. Oh, it only needs iron, okay. Um, well, the other bits are all looking pretty good, so we might just leave that as is for now. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to do a bit of organising around base, and I'll bring you back once we're closer to Horde Night. Alright, guys, I've gone ahead and I've placed down some signs. Now, I do want to point out that these are overkill. You do not need a storage box for each of these resources, but for... Uh, purpose of functionality this is how i wanted to go about it so we've got a crate for wood to keep everything burning a crate for stone that we can uh, melt down into cement we've got another crate for raw iron we've got one for sand one for clay one for cement we've got one for smeltables so items like brass doorknobs and candlesticks all of that stuff we have one for brass one for lead then over on this side, we've got one for iron, one for forged iron, one for steel, and we have one. We have another one for cement because we're going to be crafting up a crap ton of it. And then we have one for random, and the random one will be pretty much like, say, if we decide to build with some bricks or anything like that, any leftover bits, they'll be in the random box. But that's what I've got down here so far. I decided to go with the storage up here for more of the polished resources, like the iron, etc. And obviously over here is where we will keep all of the concrete mix and fertilizer and stuff like that. Pretty much anything that we can go ahead and craft in here. But judging by the time, guys, I think it's time for me to get upstairs and get organized for this horde night. But not long to go now. Don't think that there's much we can do with our skill points. We have 60 skill points. And yeah, health nuts. Probably the big thing that we have to uh, work on. Oh, food actually. Food and water. See if we can uh, get downstairs quickly and have a munch. Gee, you want all your vitals to be high. As high as they can be. So that way, you know that you're not going to uh, get hungry mid-horde night. The zombies are usually pretty good usually receive quite a lot of food make sure none of that crap's going wellness 153 that's what we want to see yeah hopefully they come from this way hopefully so we've got the ak we've got 459 bullets we have the smg with 190 rounds and we have the shotgun with 28 slugs. 
Satan. Yeah, let's hope that's enough to get us through the Horde night. Here, yeah, guys, let's go. All right, beautiful. We got someone running in from this way. That way. All right. So we've established what way the Horde's coming from. Now it's time to deal with them. Now, from my experience in this game, if you do get ferals during your horde night, they usually don't show up until close to the end of the night. Whereas cops, on the other hand, they will just come whenever they feel the need. That's what we want to be watching out for. Down from there, lady. You're on private property. Boy, let's go. Oh, we know they're definitely not going to get caught up on the house, which is great. No cops so far. You know, I wouldn't mind if we just got a bunch of ferals. That would be great. Ferals are easy to kill when you're in a base like this. And they drop some of the best loot. Same with Fox, the only problem I'm worried about them with is that I won't be able to kill them in time. They're going to explode, taking out a chunk of our base. But they too drop some really good loot. Something that I did forget to put on my character was the splint. You always want to carry a splint with you on Fortnite. much as we can. First hit of the night. What's he doing? Bow down. Oh, everything seems pretty chilled so far. That's not to say that things are going to stay that way. Come on, rid of that body. We learned our lesson from letting the bodies pile up in here. Not today. He coming in. Back up. Uh -huh. I'm just nailing my base today. Right, it's getting a bit messy over this side, so yep, he's coming in. rid of this body so we don't get stuck in it. it slows us down All right, you stay out lady get a break That's what we want to see now I can pull the AK out just to light them all up but we want to avoid using all of our ammo we really need to be saving that for emergencies Everyone's just crawling their asses in here now. Oh, bit of 762. Come on. Oh, we don't even have time. Maybe we do. <laughs> right, not too worried about the loot at this point. We just want to get these zombies cleared out. The club has officially taken a beating, but it's also given a beating. Heaps of oil. What we really want to be seeing. Uh, we're going to have to be making a crap ton of repair kits. Part of me is thinking about driving to the desert again at some point and digging a mine there before we actually dig there. What do you guys think about that? 
Because, yeah, if we can start off a mine there, then we're going to end up with a crap ton of oil shale, which is uh, going to let us use the auger. Because, yeah, the auger is a gas guzzler. Oh, you back up. Now looking for broken legs and to be set on fire. Die, you bastard. <laughs> hate it how the uh, gore blocks get left in here because yeah, you stand on those and they uh, slow you down. Let's see if we can uh, do some quick repairs. Yeah, they want to take a bit of damage. We want to keep these spikes all repaired because yeah, when the barrels start running in, they definitely chew through your spikes. Now, in my main world, usually the second Horde Knight starts, I'll have cops will be one of the first zombies that show up. And then usually around 1am, I'll start getting waves of ferals. I wonder if that's going to be the same here. And I tell you guys, if we do not see a feral or a cop, I am going to be disappointed. Because um, I've been expecting them for quite some time now. There's no reason that we should get them from Screamer Hordes, but not from Horde Knight itself. Alright, just going to dump this crap in here. Going to stay on top of that inventory management. Don't get overrun, we've already got 21 bits of oil in there. Which is great, I think some of that was from the last Horde Knight. Heaps of damages back there. But, we can reach them. Yeah, these zombies get stuck and then they just constantly hit the spikes they don't go any further than that all right what are you doing big fella there you are the fuck out of here but yeah very strange no cop Honestly, I couldn't tell you guys why we're not seeing any cops and ferals yet. Been in this world day 43 now. We have 1,263 kills. I think it might be the two deaths that are holding us back. I'm not too sure. Alright, they're all sort of getting stuck, so we're going to have to uh, give them a hand. Help them out a little bit. Same with down here causing a lot of damages with that war block all right come on guys roll in it's chilled enough that i'm thinking damn maybe i could jump on <laughs> maybe not Definitely going to have to stock up on beer, first aid kits before we uh, start doing horde nights on foot. We only have one beer, two first aid kits. Now we can craft the first aid kits. I think you need a bit of grain alcohol, um, possibly bandages, blood bags, and I'm not actually too sure what else. But I do feel like we'll be able to craft them easy enough. And that's something that I do need to do. I'm going to keep the repairs going. All right, I've seen heaps of damage there. They're not coming in. There we go. Oh, not down there. Oh, come on. Get up the ladder. Up the top. We're going to have to deal with them from up here. Yeah, they're all getting caught up on these door blocks. It's not good with them all dying there because then all the door blocks will disappear as well. Oh man. And they look like they're dead. Right, looks like they're making their way in now. Yark. On him up. Oh, down. Oh shit. He had the same idea. 
on me up the bastard. Oh shit, yeah, you see him? I see him. First cop on a horde night, eh? Come on, big boy. Go down. Alright. Thank God he's down. Yeah, like I said, I don't mind if we have ferals rushing in here, but it's not the cops. Making some major damage over here too. See, they're just stuck on those spikes there. Three shot on him. Yeah, they got him moving. No more cops running in. I'd like to see some ferals. Ferals are what I really want. Anybody who doesn't know, ferals have an extremely rare chance of dropping a fully assembled SMG or sniper rifle. And that sniper rifle, guys, is what we're after. When you have the sniper rifle, you can one-shot any cop and it's going to hit them in the head. Easy as that. So once we have that sniper rifle, we can load up on bullets and then, yeah, you just stand up the top and pop them off. Easy as that. getting caught up on these gore blocks. Really not good for us. Yeah. Because I'll get a few kills with the knife. It's just not as powerful. It doesn't have as much reach as the block. That's why she's taking it. Stay out, lady. Well, he was a feral for a second. You can always tell by the way they run. You hear them. They've got a different sound to their run. And yet they hoof it. Alright, an hour and a half remaining. So there is still the possibility that we can get another cop or another feral. But everything's looking like it's under control at the moment. Take it. Take the opportunity. There's quick repairs. Everything's looking pretty good. Bit of damage to those spikes, but we can fix those up in the morning. Yeah, we're looking pretty good at the moment. Nothing too crazy in the terms of loot. Interesting to see what that cop dropped. And I've just got more zombies getting stuck. See if we can help them out a bit, eh? Sarge's the bollocks. There you go. Oh. And last shotgun round. Oh, and he ducks. It's all good. Back to the club. Yeah, like I said, the rest of the ammo that we have is for emergencies. Might as well just try it. Here, these. They break. See, they just deal out the damage to these spikes. Steel spikes, you'd be lucky if one of those even break during the Horde Night. You'd have to get a feral stuck on one, and you'd have to be stuck there for a majority of the Horde Night for the spike to break. They're really good to use. 
it's still not a lot going on. I didn't realize we'd take a hit. Pop one of those. Get rid of this crap. I seems to be cold. Get that on you. Um, keep the club quickly. We'll lose five levels of quality, but that's fine. It's definitely worth it for the trade-off of damage that you get back from. Oh god, look at the ball. Alright, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Yeah, the longer they stay there, the less other zombies that we have coming into the, uh, coming in here. So now that we've killed those off, we should have at least another three running in. Yeah, Horde Night's just about over. So no ferals this episode. That's, uh, well, I suppose we did get one, didn't we? From the Screamer Horde, but, uh, not from Horde Night. So a little bit disappointing. But nonetheless, this game is about survival. And it looks like we have survived yet another horde knife. There she goes. food for us. Oh, we did. Look at that. Nicely munched there. Literally eating the flesh of our enemies. There you celebrate a horde knife. The rotten flesh. Um, right, I'm gonna have to get out of here because they're just, they're all getting stuck. Plenty of gore blocks. This is actually cop. Beautiful. 210 pistol, 1,122 dudes. Yeah, look at that, I don't like that. He's glitching down. He's pretty much inside our base at that point. A little bit late to the party. Stay down. And is he it? Boom. There we go, guys. Another successful horde night. Now I'm going to go around, I'm going to clean up this mess, harvest up all these blocks, then we're going to do some repairs to the base, then we'll be grabbing our breakfast and heading back upstairs. Oh shit guys, you see that? I was like, damn, what's all that lag? Holy crap, that's a big wandering horde. Oh well, guess we're dealing with these guys too. It's just about finished uh, all the harvesting too. Means I'm going to have to drop off quite a lot of this loot. Yeah, I was wondering why my game was so laggy. And I just spotted these fellas in the distance. I'm not looking to get stunned mate, we're not dying after horde night. Yeah, no doubt there'll be two waves of these fellas too. Down. Oh, got a level. Right, go down. Get stuck on a gore block. Down yet. Get that big boy out. Yeah, I heard him get back up. Oh well, guys, you know what I say. Can't go wrong with a bit of Uber loot delivery. The last one. Finally. 
No more coming in the distance. All right, we're pretty much full up on loot back here, guys. Guess I'm going to continue looting these fellas too before we head inside and grab our breakfast. Oh, I don't know if anybody just seen that, but we got 404 hazmat pants. Now these 1,291 dukes. Unfortunately, they say that they give you radiation protection, but they don't. The only place that I'm aware of in console where you're going to find radiation is the world border. And no matter what you're wearing, if you go out to the world border, you will die. So, as I always say, if you're a collector in this game, then that one's more of a collector's item. All right. Now we have a 600 quality leather duster. Very nice. So we could always potentially swap that out for our black puffer coat. The only reason the puffer coat's good is when you spend a lot of time in the snow. Even with the duster, you're still going to get cold out there. It's just the way it is. Oh, of course, there's more crap. We eat this one. Oh, 100% food. You don't like to see it. I'm going to have to uh, burn some energy before the morning. <laughs> And that way we'll be able to do our bacon and eggs for the outro. So this should be the last zombie. Scrap this. Alright guys, now I'm just going to do some quick repairs before we head upstairs. Alright guys, base is fully repaired. We actually went through a thousand iron in that horde night. Doing all of our repairs. So lucky we cooked up that extra. Be here guys, as the sun comes up. That means our time is up. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more console content. But as always, stay safe out there, survivors. And I'll see you on the next one.